YouTube world it's your girl Kimberly so wanted to update you guys on my okra planting initially my video stated that I had planted 25 stalks of okra well as I stated in the comments I split them because they're planted in the little uh, cups when you buy them they are planted like three to two seeds in a cup where well, these were planted three to a cup and I was able to very, very, very gently and very meticulously separate them. So I ended up with 54 physical plants to plant. And as you can see, I'm doing a little watering. But here is the okra. Two rows here of okra that I planted. Which initially, like I said, I thought it was going to be... Um, 25 but it ended up to be 54 but I made it work <laughs> I uh, made extra room I don't know if you guys can see this little bitty green specks poking out and I just planted them the other day of the okra and what I ended up doing was planting them in these two main rows on the outer Part of my garden because okra grows really really tall so I don't want it to basically smother or shade out any of the other vegetables that are trying to grow and here is the remaining part of the okra I actually did this on the inside row because what's next to it is bell peppers and they'll do really really good uh, regardless I usually cut the leaves off of the okra when they get too tall anyway but this is the remaining part of the okra that I've ended up planting <laughs> that now produce the 54 stalks here's another row of okra I'm excited though because last season like I said it did good I just didn't have enough stalks of okra to produce enough for us to eat the way we were eating it here's another little section of okra this is on the out, outside, well, the inside of the garden, but on the outside of the rows that I've planted. So that's the update on the okra. And uh, I just noticed something I got to share with you guys. My corn is sprouting up like crazy. I talked about this before in my other video that I wish <laughs> I would have done the corn in a more unified line type of manner but I did not but that's okay to a degree because I still planted them close enough where they're going to be able to pollinate off of one another and as you can see all these little green stalks that's all okra I mean I'm sorry that's all corn that is sprouting up out of my bed raised bed that I've created for the corn so just a little update on that. I'm just excited about the corn because it's actually doing pretty good as far as growth. And as you can see, I just planted the corn on, what date do we have on there? April 13th. So it's doing pretty good. So that's the update on the okra and a little tip, tidbit on the corn. <laughs> so we're going to get some watering going here so we can make sure that everything is going to grow very well and nothing's going to be physically neglected when it comes to watering all right you guys love you i hope you always enjoy my garden views because i love my garden and i'm excited to see how things go this season all right until next time happy gardening and make sure you guys always subscribe love you